Hi, I'm Connie from Synology. In this video, we are going to see how to use Multiversion Backup to save your data and modifications at different points of time. Multiversion Backup also allows you to restore your data after a drive crash or an attack from encrypting ransomware. Let's take a look and see how it can be done using Backup and Replication. Backup and Replication is a built-in app in DSC 5.2 allowing backups to a local, remote, or cloud destination. At this time, Multiversion Backup is compatible only with local and remote destinations. I'm going to demonstrate a remote backup task using two Synology NAS servers. One will be acting as the source, while the other will be acting as the destination. To begin, please log into the destination NAS. Go to the main menu to find Backup and Replication. Then click Backup Services on the left menu. Switch to the tab called Network Backup Volume Destination and select Enable Network Backup Volume Destination. Click Apply to save the settings. From this point on, the source NAS will be used for the remaining steps. After you've logged into your source NAS, open the main menu and select Backup and Replication. Then click Backup on the left menu. Click on the Create button and choose Data Backup Task. If you have created a task before, you can select Existing Backup Destination. For a new backup task, as in this video, select Network Backup Destination and click Next. Enter the information of your destination NAS and then click Next. Select Backup Data to Volume. Select the folder that you want to back up. In the Backup Settings window, you may select Enable Backup Schedule and specify when you want the system to backup your data. And then select Enable Backup Rotation. From here, you can choose how you want to rotate your backup versions. You may also specify the maximum number of backup versions. After the setup is completed, click on the backup task and then click Backup Now. From now on, you can either update the backup task manually or simply let the schedule run and create multi-version backups automatically. If your data NAS is unfortunately infected by malware, such as ransomware, you can restore your data with the help of backup and replication. After removal of the malware, open backup and replication on the source NAS. Click Restore and choose the backup task. Click Restore or Restore From then choose Data. Select Network Restoration. Enter the information of the destination NAS. Select Restore Data from Volume. You can also choose whether or not you want to restore the previous system configuration. On the timeline, select the date of a previous backup version that has not been infected. Then select the folder to be restored. Click Apply to start the restoration. After following these steps, you should be able to restore your data successfully. Thank you for watching.